Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you a quick read today. I am not picking the topic of this read, um, so we're just going to, it's going to be a love read. I'm just going to kind of pull cards and see what comes out. Um, and depending on what comes out, I'll use different decks. But let's just get um, whoever's watching to get the messages they need to see about love. Judgment. <laughs> All right, so judgment to me could be one of two things. I'm going to clarify, but um, judgment to me is like a self-evaluation of a situation or self-evaluation of yourself more so where you uh, spiritually ascend. You can see this girl is like spiritually ascending. Um, she's getting clarity. She's figuring out what no longer serves her. Um, what she wants in life, what she needs to do to get that, what she needs to stop doing and start doing. Um, so I feel like this is a really positive card in terms of healing and growing and spiritually ascending. Um, this very well could also be a return or a reunion. So I'm going to actually clarify uh, just to get some information about what this judgment card is. Clarify the judgment. The magic stick, guys. What? What? Hold on. <laughs> uh, the Knight of Wands. That's a lot of passion in the Nine of Wands. I feel like this is a reunion. Um, so if you're not, I feel like I get so many reunions. Um, if you're not looking for a reunion, you might want to just click off. If you are looking for a potential reunion, I think that this is someone that has a lot of passion. Ooh, bottom of the deck is the Empress. Um, I feel like this is someone who has a lot of passion. All these wands are coming up. So I feel like potential fire sign, Libra. I mean, oh my gosh. Libras are not fire signs, but maybe that's a, a slip of the tongue for somebody in particular. But um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is potentially coming back. I feel like they had quite a bit. Oh, my lighting's not good. Quite a bit of player energy previously. Um, lots of passion. And I feel like they left you in this wounded warrior state is kind of the energy I'm getting. Um, and this is the magic stick. Uh, this could go either which way if you don't know that song look it up. But um, I feel like this person's coming in really hot and heavy, very passionate. But this is potentially someone that has left you as this wounded warrior. The thing about the nine of wands to me, though, um, that sticks out even more than the wounded warrior is it's a card of perseverance. So it's like someone's not giving up. They're not giving up yet. They're still in it. So I feel like um, <coughs> we'll get this person's intentions soon but I feel like uh this is a lot of passion I'm not sure if they're just coming in for passion or if they want more so let's get uh some more information about this person that's returning let's get some information about the person that's returning well this is a good card the ten of pentacles the eight of wands the wheel of fortune I was going to pull three, but then I decided to pull five. The world card. You guys, this person truly wants a stable, committed situation with you. Um, this person is your soulmate. So I feel like you know who this person is. Um, this is showing up. It's Ten of Pentacles. This is emotional stability, financial stability. This is blending families together, having a family. Um, loyal, committed, grounded energy. The eight of pentacles is like that hard work that it takes to put in a relationship. Relationships are not easy. They take work, right? It takes a lot of work, a lot of dedication. And this is like showing that, that this person's willing to do that work. Um, I feel like uh, this is also one of my soulmate cards. So I feel like this is very much a soulmate connection. I don't think this person's intention is 100% just passion. I feel like they want a long-term commitment. Um, but I feel like they have very passionate, sensual thoughts about you as well. Um, I do see this person completing some kind of cycles. We have both the world and the wheel of fortune. So to me, this is like karma's shifting. Things are shifting. Things are aligning for this reunion. And I feel like cycles have been completed, whether it's cycles between you and them, cycles that you needed to complete, cycles that they needed to complete. I feel like cycles are completed and things are shifting in your favor. Usually too with a world card, um, you know, something's been completed and something positive comes out of that. Um, potentially with this blended family card or this 10 of pentacles, this person could potentially have just gotten out of, of a divorce. Um, 
but that's just maybe for a small few of you. Um, I feel like things are lining up in the universe. I think they're going to be communicating with you with that eight of wands. They're going to, they're going to reach out. My dog is walking around somewhere down here. I don't trust her. All right, let's see. What is this person's intentions for coming back? Page of Wands, the Empress, the Four of Pentacles. Mm, oh, I just saw the Sun card on the bottom of the deck. Let me get two more cards. The Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they, I feel like things ended between the two of you um, previously and their intentions is to come back. I feel like they know that you were going to be quite guarded. Um, I feel like when you guys left the situation previously, there was definitely an ending. Could have been backstab and betrayal, but I always feel like, you know, um, you should never be in a toxic situation. You should never allow someone to hurt you and mistreat you. So if someone's being like reckless and hurting you, I don't ever suggest you return to that situation. Um, but to me, there was definitely an ending. Um, I'm not sure if it was like backstabbing and betrayal or just a solid ending, but I feel like it did create, um, some defeated energy. I feel like your person feels quite defeated with this ending and they know that you are their empress. Um, and that's why they're coming back around. I think they have every idea and knowledge that, they know that you're going you're gonna to be guarded. Um, you potentially could have felt defeated or kind of um, just super devastated that the situation ended. And I feel like they know that you are going to be very guarded. But they do. They want to come in with messages, with good news. They want to, I think it's going to start... Um, the page of wands is like a smaller kind of offer. But I think it's going to be like a, hey, like, do you want to go do this fun thing? Or hey... I'm going to be in the area at this, like, whatever, street fair. Do you want to meet me there or something like that? I feel like it's going to be kind of a low level, not like, hey, I want to go on a date with you, but I feel like it's going to be like a low uh, level kind of offer. Not in a bad way, just more in a lighthearted, fun, and not super committed way. Um, light and free kind of energy. Um, this person definitely sees you as their empress. They, they want to be... Um, with you, I feel like they see you as their counterpart, male or female is irrelevant with the energies, but um, I think they see this opportunity with you as abundant, um, empathetic, sympathetic kind of energy. Uh, I feel like they want to provide that for you as well, but they're really certain that you're going to be like this. And I think it's because of their past actions. I think that's why you're going to be resistant, rightfully so, probably. I mean, people... I'll look at the bottom, Knight of Cups, bringing up a, a bunch of offers of love. But I feel like, you know, things end for a reason, and sometimes we should not go back to that, and sometimes we do. So that's their intention. Their intention is to come back. They know that they've created a lot of strife, a lot of closed-off energy from you, but they see you as their counterpart. So I feel like they're going to come in with, like, really, like, carefree kind of non- um, I don't know, like, I don't think they want to come in like, I love you. I think they're going to come in and just try to keep it, like, light. Like, fun, carefree kind of energy. What actions is this person going to take? The High Priestess. Ooh, the Tower, the Seven of Swords, the Moon card, and the Lover's. The Three of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. You guys, I feel like this person is going to tell you, like, I screwed up so badly before. I lied to myself. I lied to you. I think um, the Moon card being here is revealing, uh, you know, all of their feelings about the situation, stuff they kept hidden before. I think they're going to come in lightly right doing this carefree kind of thing but I think when it comes down to it they are going to be expressing things to you that you're not prepared to hear you're not expecting I feel like you never thought you would hear this person say these things to you this kind of like you're going to be like overwhelmed you're going to be like holy freaking smoke seriously 
um, it, with the Tower card. I feel like this information you're going to be getting is going to be that of, it's going to be surreal to you. You're going to be like, is this really happening? This person's coming in to tell me that they lied to themselves. They lied to me. They want to tell me how they really feel. They're exposing all their thoughts. They're exposing what their actions were before. They were exposing what they now have figured out. Um, that I'm their empress, that I'm their counterpart, that I'm their soulmate, that they want to be with me. I feel like it's going to really kind of throw you off. Um, interestingly enough, guys, out of their actions, one card is not the major arcana. This is going to be major. This person's been tapping into their intuition. This person's been getting spiritual guide uh, guidance, spiritual downloads. This person has been really figuring out what they need to do to come forward towards you. And they want true love with you. They see you as their soulmate. They want union with you. They want marriage with you. They are absolutely enamored by you. And they want to be with you. Um, I think this is going to come as a total shock to your system. We also have the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. Which is true love, soulmate, energy. Which is also like a solid friendship as well. I think they're willing to do just about anything that it takes. To get in your good graces. Because they know they want you. Um... How are you going to feel about this situation? King of Swords. You might hear some rumbling around. My son is just getting home. Five of Cups, Three of Wands. Page of Cups. Six of Cups. I think you're going to be happy. Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, so I feel like you are going to be... Hold on one second, guys. Hey, bud. Um, let the dog out. I'm, I'm down here recording. What? I'm recording down here. I just said, let the dog up. I know. Okay. Thanks. Teenagers and their, their tone. <laughs> um, okay. So yes, your feelings for this person coming back around. I feel like, um, you are going to have a conversation. You're going to have a direct conversation with them. And this King of Swords, you're going to be like, Tell me everything. You're going to be like clarifying everything. You're going to be finding information out. You're going to be demanding certain things, certain explanations, um, what this person plans on doing forward. I feel like you're going to be focused on like all this stuff kind of was washed away. All this stuff was kind of like taken for granted. Like, how is it going to be different this time? You're going to demand this direct communication. You're going to demand, um, answers and you're going to get answers for everything um i feel like you thought before this was just something that was d done with something that was over um but interestingly enough you have this three of wands like you've been waiting for this person to come back around you've been waiting for your ships to come in you've been waiting for things to align i don't know 100 percent if you thought this person really would come back um i feel like you're going to be in shock when they do but I think this is something you've been hoping for. I feel like you're going to expect an apology um, because uh, this person, I think, is going to kind of clean the slate between you and them. Um, you are in love with this person. You have um, very nostalgic feelings with this person. And again, this is a reunion. I feel like you want to reunite with this person as well. Very warm, very nostalgic, lots of love, lots of good vibes. Um, so I'm not really sure exactly what happened between the two of you um, to create this this definite separation. But um, I feel like you are going to be open to discussing the situation, getting answers. But I also feel like like that you're like, this is what I've been waiting for. I have this apology. I have all this love for this person. So let's get some cards on the outcome. Two of Swords. Let's get some cards on the outcome. Queen of Swords. Death and Rebirth. The Sun. The Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Temperance on the bottom of the deck. Yes. So you guys, I feel like this situation really, these cards really make a lot of sense to me coming out for the outcome. I feel like there's initially going to be some indecision. You're not going to really know what to do. You're going to be like... What do I do? Like, I want to believe this person. I want to trust what they're saying. Again, I think you're going to still be in this 
Queen of Swords energy, like, I need answers, I need action, I need clarity, I need you to prove what you're saying you're going to do. I'm not just jumping into this situation. Um, I feel like you are going to have a bit of hesit hesitancy, but interestingly enough, so we have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, which is a progression, and then we have the Death card and Rebirth. I do feel like this situation is one that's coming back around. I do feel like this is a rebirth between you and another person, between the person returning. I feel like you're going to commit to that ending from the past. You're going to say, okay, I'm going to walk away from the past situation and walk towards my son. But you're going to demand that things are different, that things are changed. And you're not going to just take their word for it. I feel like you're going to really require them to um, show what, they're, what they mean. And here's the emperor underneath the temperance. I think it's going to take some time. I don't think you're going to jump right back to it. I think it's going to be a build and grow and, and move forward situation. I love that the emperor is here to the empress in the deck and patience is here, temperance, when things get balanced. But I definitely see a restart. So I feel like you're going to end the connection that you had previously and say, okay, we can restart this. I can move on towards my son, towards my happily ever after. I can move on towards my wish fulfillment, which will be this person. This is the sun card. This is someone who brings you joy, who brings you happiness. This situation is going to bring you the most positive stuff in your life. Happiness, joy, optimism, potential child if you don't have one or want another one. doesn't have to be, but if you're of childbearing age and um, circumstances are right, be aware that you could have a child. So I feel like this person, the outcome is going to be the sun card. U ultimately, you are restarting and it's going to be the sun card. So I feel like that's amazing. Like you go from something that was kind of dead to this glorious, wonderful rebirth of a soul connection. I'm kind of surprised the Twin Flame card didn't come out. All right, so let's get um, some Love Oracle cards. I'm not taking all those. Oh, golly. I'll take those, I guess. Those wanted to sneak out of the bottom of the deck. Um, this is the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. Proposal. So we have getting to know you, karmic release, and take my hand. So I feel like I feel like you're releasing any toxic situations, um, any karmic lessons. I feel like you with the wheel of fortune and the world card being there in the in the original spread, I feel like this is cycles completing, um, releasing things, uh, allowing forgiveness to occur as well. Um, I feel like you are going to be getting to know each other again, um, and and it's going to result in this take my hand and this proposal, right? Underneath the proposal, we have open for love as well, and divine feminine, guys, and past returns. Wow. Perha it says perhaps an ex-lover or a past life, and then faith and destiny, things will work out in the end, and then guess what? The freaking Twin Flames card, guys. Yeah, I feel like this very much could be a Twin Flame connection. There's faith in this connection. The past will return. Divine Feminine is the Empress energy. You'll be open for love. You're going to be like, yes. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Eventually. But we got getting to know you and take my hand after these karmic releases take place. And I feel like, especially with that Twin Flame card coming out, I feel like that energy between the two of you, like... This has all been part of this path, part of this purpose. Lessons had to be learned. Decisions had to be made. Losses had to be taken, you know, in order to get these gains moving forward. But again, if it was toxic, if it was detrimental to your health, your mental health, your physical health, if it was unsafe, I don't recommend going back. But this does not sound like that kind of situation. So if it if if that is your situation, I'm not recommending going back to toxic stuff or, or unsafe stuff. All right, we're gonna get a couple of Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. We have the butterfly, which is um revolving or relationships evolving to the new to the next phase. I can't read. Healing the inner child and growth, yes. And then the chaser, chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. To me, I feel like this is what the situation was previously. There was the runner, the chaser, which is very much a part of the twin flame connection. Check it out if you don't understand it. 
Um, but this is chaser and codependent relationships, fear of abandonment issues. And then the butterfly, I think, is what's happening. It reminds me of the death and rebirth card. Um, relationship evolving in the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. And I think that's what you guys are doing is growing and coming together. So um, I'm just going to get a couple cards. I was saving this for my Instagram reels, but um, I might still do it on Instagram. But I'm going to get a couple of cards from You Have My Heart, Soul Lovers, and Separation just to get some information from this person, some messages from this person or from you to this person. These could be current messages, how the person's feeling. This could be something they stated to you previously. But let's just get a few cards of what they might want to say to you if they could say it to you. Okay. Um, the bottom of the deck, it says, During our separation, our love has only grown stronger. I long to see you again and unite as one. And then we have, Life is too short to keep your feelings to yourself. I cannot stay silent any longer with these words hidden inside my heart and soul because they want to burst out of my chest and my mouth. I love you. <laughs> You can't imagine how much I love you. You are the man or woman that every woman or man desires. I know that I can count on you, and I will show you that you can count on me too. I feel like they're really going to be working towards proving their love for you. And I am silent due to going through the dark night of the soul. I feel like an emotional roller coaster, and I don't have the strength to communicate with you right now. Uh, that's changing. That's changing very soon. That is changing very soon. Um, I'm going to take this one just to make it even, well, it's not an even five, but just to even out this a little bit. Um, I just want to hold you now. It's been too long since you held me close and I'm aching for you. Yeah, this person's going to be, not be able to hold off much more, much longer. Um, I feel like it's going to take some time when you do guys, when you do guys, when you guys do come together. I feel like you're going to make them prove that they've changed. They're going to show you that they changed. They're going to step up to the plate. And I feel like this is going to be an amazing connection. So if you're looking for a reunion, I think you got it coming, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. You can click the notification button um, for my videos because right now they're quite sporadic. Um, sorry. And I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.